I guess this was Norman's kitchen table. He kept it clean. Blah blah. The kitchen trash bin. Dig through it. I found a hairpin amongst the stuff and pocketed it. Mm, okay. Is that it? Is that all? Is Norman, your kitchen didn't have shit for loot other than a hairpin. Probably, we probably needed that hairpin, I assume. Maybe that door down here is locked. If that's right. Oh my god, I'm so fucking smart. Jesus Christ. Games are predictable. Whatever. The general store was small, but it was clean. I had the usual thing. Podcast, that mother had gone good. I never went there much. Rachel! Usually stopped by after work if we needed anything. And then she went into his bedroom and got it out! The register was mostly empty and a fat stack of travel magazines sat beside it. Shit, man. The icebox seemed to be unplugged. It must have been off for a while. Most of his kinds were half melted. There were various postcards from the area, especially from the tourist traps. One of the postcards showed an old black and white photo of the water tower. It looked to be in much better shape then. I bet we're going to this water tower. Norman was dead, but I had no idea why. Was he involved in all this somehow, or was he just another victim? That gun I found only seemed to complicate matters. It was such a relief to finally be rid of it. Home wasn't far off now. Even though the rain was relentless, I had to keep going. Ah, oh, it's so relentless! It's rain! Ah! Oh, get the. I am relentless! It's relentless. Okay. I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> so many doors. There's so many doors. Okay, well, I guess we choose one. Let's choose this one. Yeah, it's the wrong gate. This one's locked. Okay, that was not the right door. Maybe it was this one. It was this one. There we go. Boo, boo, boo. Boo, boo. Boo, boo. The gate was out of there. It wasn't my house. The neighbors. Local. The post by. The letter was taken out as if someone had pushed it all the way in. I knew it wasn't right, but did I look into the gate? There was no return items, but the envelope was addressed to Norman. Carefully, I tore it open and looked at the letters. It read, Stay away. She's mine. That was it. No signature. No. Oh, that's not in the letter. <laughs> no other information. I had the wrong gate. This one was locked. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh. Okay, this is. I had entered our backyard. The rain gave me a terrible sense of foreboding, and it chilled me through my clothes. I was expectant, but also afraid. I'm afraid too, guy. I'm so afraid right now. You don't, you don't even know how afraid. I held my breath as I approached my our backyard, our back door. I was terrified to step inside. Just do it. <sighs> the house was painfully quiet. The only sound was my own breathing, ragged and strained. I flicked the light switch by the door. The power was off. Table was clean. It hadn't been used any time recently. <laughs> the door to the basement. It was locked. Where had I put the damn key? I don't freaking knew. The front door was locked from the inside. I couldn't go out though. I needed to see if Rachel. Rachel was here. Rachel, where you at? Rachel. It was so dark. Our television I had purchased it before I knew I was going to lose my job. I felt pretty guilty about it afterward, but by then it was too late. It was too late. No. No, no. The door, the door was stuck shut. There was an old fashioned keyhole underneath the handle. My God. Well, our hallway mirror had been smashed, its pieces scattered around the floor. Oh my god. Our sink which needed to be replaced. One of the taps always stuck, but I hadn't got around to fixing it yet. 
We were lucky enough to get a house with one of those wonderful old claw-footed bathtubs. Damn, that's a nice bathtub. There's blood on the ground. Mm, this one. The books there were half mine, half Rachel! Hey, now that I looked more closely, it looked like that man in that house had some of the same books I did. Eh, that's cool. There was a suitcase on the bed. It was Rachel! I remembered it from that trip we took out west. Did I open the suitcase? Yeah. I wasn't sure what to make of the suitcase contents. This side was a few days worth of clothes, some to toiletries, and a train ticket? Where was she planning to go? Rachel! Why you no take me? You bitch! What's this? My laptop had been left on, and only had a tiny bit of power left. On the screen was a website about the old water tower. There's a key in the top drawer of my chest. Yeah, take his basement key. Take the cake. Mm -hmm. I told you, we're going to the fucking water tower. Shit's gonna go down at the water tower. We haven't seen shit the whole entire game. When we get the water tower, shit's gonna be fucked up. Unlock the basement door. Oh my god. There were old Christmas decorations in the box. My god. The garbage bags were stuffed with old paint cans and supplies. There was a dirty old key! Did I take it? Yes. I took it. I took the key. I try to remember what it locked. Oh wait, there's a keyhole door. Let's see if it was that one. Let's, let's, because I know if I uh, go through game without trying. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Look at that. It looked like the room had been tossed around. The furniture was a mess. Did somebody break in here? My God. There was an old crowbar on the floor. Did I need to take it? Yes, I did. I lifted the heavy crowbar. I appreciated it. I, appre I appreciate it. So I'm. I, I, we missed a couple areas, I guess, earlier. That probably had fat loot. I don't know how it contributes to the game, though. I'm sure we'll find out. There were old clothes, tools, and other things we obviously hadn't thrown out yet. Cool. The crowbar I found would have been strong enough to bust through that cheap wall. Did I break through the wall with a crowbar? How freaking convenient. Otherwise, I would have nothing to do. God. Okay, I don't know. As I stepped through the broken wall, my breath caught in my throat. This was it. it was Rachel down here. Was she okay? Rachel, where you at? Where you at, baby? Don't look. What the f- A filthy looking pile of rags had been dumped in the corner. The stench of them was awful and my, made my eyes water. I was terrified to even touch the pile to see what lay within. But I knew I had to. I had come this far. After all this searching, after all I had seen, when I looked within the rags, did I finally find my Rachel? No. I did not. Did I? The rags were wet, matted, covered in dirt and grime. But inside that tattered mess was no sign of my beloved wife. Rachel wasn't there. I looked around in confusion, trying to figure out what to do next. If she wasn't there, where was she? What had I been searching for this entire time? I remember the look on Rachel's face when I came home, didn't I? Then the awful realization hit me right in the gut. I had been looking at this the wrong way, hadn't I? This is what you've been trying to tell me all along, isn't it? I couldn't find Rachel there, and I won't find her anywhere else because she was never there at all, was she? I stumbled back upstairs, the pain in my leg just a dull ache now, and sat down in our, my bedroom. My mind was spinning, and the ache I felt before was near crippling. Finally, I could no longer fight the exhaustion as I tried to grab hold of something that would make sense of all this. I must have drifted off. Oh, I thought something intense was going to happen, so I was getting intense in the dialogue, you know? But I guess she just fell asleep. Wait, so I, I could have said yes, Rachel was in there? 
What? I, I guess these books were all actually mine then. Wait, so Rachel's not real. I mean, Rachel, not real. I'm so confused. It was the photo of the other man and his wife that I found in that house. Were those really his wife's remains in those tunnels? It certainly seems so. What did I think? Did the other man murder his wife and bury her in the... Yeah, I think the, the sick bastard must have. What else did that mean? There were some questionable things in those tunnels. What else was he wrapped up in? Who knows? In the shards, I can see my face. Hollow and sickly. What other illusions that I dream of? What other trips are waiting to be exposed? What the fuck is going on? God. Mm, the laptop is running out of power. It was the key card I found at the bottom of the factory locker. I never did bother to use it. Someone had been going through those lockers and poking around the place. So then it quite add up. Was I, one, was I the one who had been going back to the factory? I don't know. No. What would I have been doing there? I don't... Uh, I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Where am I? Oh, my. oh I'm still in the house. <clears throat> So this is ransacked. My old office safe sat on the floor. I used to keep tax records and other important documents on it. Here's a digital patch code locked in. I tried to open it. Safe using eight digit code. What was the damn code again? It was dirt. There it is. No, that wasn't it. Damn, I couldn't remember. But that was it. That was the code. Damn it. Um, I don't even know what I'm doing now. What am I doing? What's this? I still had no idea what was on that tape I found in the garbage. If only I had found a way to watch it. <coughs> I'm angry. I should have I watched that tape. I should have watched it. I should have watched that tape. Fucking tape. I should have watched it. It seemed like I had seen all there was. Maybe I thought I was ready to go back into the basement. Or was I? That was it. With Rachel gone, I couldn't stand to be in the house a moment longer. Did I leave and say goodbye to the nightmare forever? No. We need to go down. I guess I was ready to face the truth now. What? Okay. It was the knife I had found in sewers. I left it here because I didn't want it near me anymore. Was all of this my fault? Was I responsible for Rachel's death? If I was guilty, I could take them to a warm, safe place and do something about it. Did I pick up the knife? Yes. I took the knife and kept it firmly in my hand. The wall was cracked and pitted. I was told by an inspector the basement had been partially filled in before I bought the house, but by the look of the wall, I was going to need to figure the foundation. Everything smells musty and all that. What the fuck is going on? I have a knife. What am I in? What am I? Oh, freaking. I must have locked the door. What the fuck? Uh, my guy just fucking crazy. I think that's what's going on here. Okay. That was it with Rachel gone. Let's get the fuck out of this house. Jesus Christ. Since I had arrived in town, things have been difficult. Working in the plant, though, I'd been going to. Away from my past. When the factory closed, everything changed. I guess that was when I said to start sleepwalking, disappearing for hours at a time. Drinking was probably just a way to deal with that. It was almost as if I was trying to beat my brain at its own game. Things stopped making sense some time after that. And my memories of what happened are still in flux. I suppose that's when Rachel came along. This night had been the worst of my entire life. Would it even be possible to bounce back from everything that had happened? Everything I'd seen, you know, in a way I almost wish I hadn't even woken up tonight. It would have spared me a lot of pain. That man I had found in the old house had killed his wife. I was sure of it. Just as sure as I was that you killed mine. What? <laughs> the forest especially was a difficult maze, and I would rest easier if I never saw it likes again. 
Obviously, we weren't seeing eye to eye on this, but we could both agree it wasn't me going through the old factory, right? I mean, you said it yourself, and I'm trusting you here, you know? I had to catch my breath to take it all in. At each point until the factory, things had only gotten worse. But then I had seen something even I wouldn't have expected when I went to Norman's store. That's when my perspective on this really started to change. Poor Norman was dead, but I had no idea what had happened to him. But as painful as all that was, oh God, I couldn't bear to think about it again. After all I had done and seen, finally coming home was supposed to be the end of this entire ordeal. God help me though, it was only the beginning. As the door swung open, I could smell damp grass and the closeness of the air. After everything, I'd felt like I had more questions than answers. You made me see the truth. I'll give you that. But now I... I was completely lost. You took away the only thing that hadn't kept me going. I was sure word would get out, and soon enough the police would come looking for me. And what then? Would you be there to show me the way? What will I do then? What the fuck's going on? What the fuck? Well, guys, we did it. We beat the game. I don't fucking know how. I think I... I, uh, I like, speed ran that game. What the fuck? There's, like, so many things I missed. Missed. What the fuck? Oh, man. I think we're gonna have to play this again? Maybe a couple times? I don't know. Um, home is dedicated to my wife Nancy Watcher. What a crazy bastard. I think we're gonna have to go through this game again. And, uh, fucking say yes and no to some shit. Maybe. I don't know. But that's for a later time. So, uh, thanks for watching this Lance play. It was quite short, I believe. But maybe we'll get back to it at some point. How the hell do I get out of here? Oh, there we go. America!